This is a Poke Press Special Report. Hi, I'm Stephen Reich here at GeekCon 2011. I'm here with the two top finishers of this year's Pokemon Black and White video game competition. Uh, on my right is Ryan Brown, the, the first place finisher, and on my left is uh, Sam Eichstead, the second place finisher. So, um, first of all, we want to get an idea of what uh, the teams you used this year were. So, first of all, Sam, what was the team you used in this year's competition? I ran Volcarona, Toxicroak, and Milotic. And what was the, uh, the idea behind those, uh, choosing those three? Was there a certain coverage pattern? Was there a central strategy? How did that one come about? Well, Toxicroak was to cover Volcarona's weakness, except for Rock. But with the dry skin, it basically just, you know, ate all the water moves that it needed to. None of its sword stands, and, well, in, presumably it would kill everything. But that wouldn't always happen, so... Yeah, we'll go into that in a little bit. So, uh, Ryan, uh, what was the team you used for this year's tournament? My team is actually quite unoriginal. If any of you guys are familiar with the uh, Smojin Battle Subway records, I used one of Jump Men's teams, uh, which features Aladios, uh, Terrakion, if that's how you pronounce it, and a Suicune. All right. Uh, so you just uh, picked up something and, uh, and, and ran with it. Okay. Essentially. All right, uh, so s the way this works is this was a double elimination tournament. Now, in a double elimination tournament, um, there's, there's basically two brackets. Uh, everyone who loses their first game goes into a uh, secondary bracket, and then eventually the champion of that secondary bracket has to face the winner of the primary bracket with the disadvantage that the person in the secondary bracket uh, has to win twice against the champion of the other one in order to become the champion. So in the first uh, uh, bracket, you guys both met each other, Sam, and uh, you actually won that game. How did that go? It was very close-ended. Um, had I not switched out, we were both one Pokemon down, Volcarona was out, and I had Toxicroak and Milotic, and I believe he had Terrakion and Suicune. And I switched into Toxicroak with his Suicune, and he... I pretty much Swords Dance and took it out, and then he took out Toxicroak with his um, Terrakion, and then I used Milotic and pretty much like closely beat him. It was really, I don't know, unexpected. I was, I was, I felt like I was gonna lose, but it didn't happen. So I was, I was kind of shocked. All right, and then Ryan, of course, you guys, uh, you made your way. Th through the loser's bracket um, and yeah. out to the top. Now you came in facing uh, Sam again and you knew you had to head up to a battle because you had to beat him twice in a row in order to take the championship. So for the first game you guys played, uh, uh, what was going through your mind? Well, I use a little bit of uh, shady mental warfare. In this tournament, I'm allowed to switch the members around in my team between the three of them. So I switched my lead out for Terrakion and uh, from there I got him the advantage like head on. And then the next match I figured he'd expect me to leave with Tarekki on again, so I switched back to Latios being in the lead. And then from there things kind of went pretty well for both sides until the very end when it just became down to the stall war of Suicune versus Milotic. Yeah, that was, uh, now was that, now Sam, was that true in both games uh, that you played that it came down to that, or was it just the second game that was like that? Well, I. The first game, I didn't stall him to death. I just went all out with the mile tick and t luckily took him out. The second one was like a 60-turn stall war, which was like absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, I have recover, and he has max special attack. I'm still not dying, so I'm just going to recover for until I die. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, that's kind of how things went. I mean, the second game, you know, that was the final. You know, you, whoever won that took the championship, and that, that uh, drew on for quite a long time. Um, so despite, you know, that one of you had to be the winner and one of you had to be uh, second place, uh, you guys are still uh, good friends. In fact, you've known each other for a long time. Uh, isn't that right, uh, Ryan? Yes, it is. And uh, Sam, uh, <laughs> how, how did you two guys uh, initially meet? You guys knew each other from school? Um, he was um, in the same grade as my older brother, and he was like, my older brother was like, I have a little brother, and Ryan's in comedy sports, and I was like, I'm kind of funny, so I decided I'd join, and I was in comedy sports with him for a year, and then I just ended up hanging out with him a lot, and now we're poke nerds together. <laughs>
Well, I, you know, that's what GeekCon is for. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you very much, Ryan. Thank you very much, Sam. Appreciate having the both of you on. This has been Steven Reich from GeekCon 2011 with the two top finishers of the Pokemon Black and White video game competition. This has been a PokePress Special Report.